te duerme. Si te duerme tarde. No, en este ya periodo de la clase se duerme. Okay. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Okay, here we go. Hi, class. How are you today? Very nice. Great. Great, great days. You're great nice. today? Cool, cool. Yes. Okay, excellent. Did you have a great day? How was your day? <laughs> what was that, tired. Aleli? How was your day? Gran suspiro. It was a great day, teacher, right? Al Very fin tired. me puedo sentar, teacher, por really? Dios. Why? Tell me yes. why. Un día muy, muy movido, pero muy productivo. Okay. In my case, it's the opposite. I work, well, you know, sitting all day. Trabajo sentado el día. So, yes, in my case, <laughs> I need to go and stretch right now. But this is the last class for today. But I'm really happy. Tiene que levantarse yes, unos 10 I... minutos. Cada, cada dos horas, unos 10 minutos para que su cuerpo no se acostumbre. Yeah, but you know, I go back to back. Tengo clases desde las 5 hasta las 10 seguidos. Back to back, back to back, you know. But this is the last one, but I'm ready. I'm really happy to see you. Sorry, teacher. No, why not? I really enjoy my job, you know. I really love teaching. Yes. So, no, this is not okay. a job for me. This is... um. This is something great. Let me ask okay. you, did you practice the pronunciation of verbs? Yes or no? Okay. Did you yes, practice? Uh, the, mm -hmm. Yes. Um, list the verb irregulars. Uh -huh. How about I the practice. rest of the class? How about okay. Elvis, Jessica, Maria Lucilla, Roxana? Did you practice? Mm, more or less, more or less. <laughs> Be honest. Yes, teacher, no, teacher. I forgot. I didn't have time. Of course, we can have time during the day. Practice. Don't forget to practice. So, everybody, welcome to class. Hi, Irma. Hello. Okay, your camera off. Camera apagada. Okay. Very good. And let me see, Marina, what is she saying? Okay, muy bien, Marina. 15 minutes, you're going to turn on your camera, right? So class, listen, you need to practice and practice because the simple past with regular and irregular verbs, this is something that you need to practice a lot, you know, practice and practice a lot, right? So let's see. Yesterday, we were practicing the pronunciation of verbs. What type of verbs? Regular verbs, right? Regular verbs in English. So, here we go. Let me show you the same exercises to see if you still remember the pronunciation. Here we go. Let me show you this one right now. Today we are going to record the pronunciation of those examples, of those verbs. Now we are going to record. So this is the first activity for today. And I'm going to check the attendance list in a couple of minutes. Just give me some minutes so I can check the, the attendance list. Okay, this is the picture that I want to show you today. Look. Same exercise as yesterday. Pronunciation, pronunciation, okay? What are we going to do to practice the pronunciation of these verbs, okay? Want it need it or want it as well. Helped, looked, washed, watched, laughed, breathed, kissed, danced, fixed, called, cleaned, offered, damaged, loved, used, followed, enjoyed, Amazed. 
Okay. So what is your role for today? The first activity that we are going to have, it's about recording, recording yourself, pronouncing these verbs at bocaroo.com. Have you heard about this place before? bocaroo.com? Or have you ever used this website to practice? Your pronunciation? Yes or no? Yangudabocaru.com. Yes or no? No. So let me show you how. No. Let me show you how. Because we're going to use this a couple of times so you can practice your pronunciation. Take a look at my screen. If you go to Google, you're just going to type. Bocaru.com. You hit on enter so you can find the first result in Bocaru.com. This is a website that is really helpful, you know, for teachers because it's like I want to check your pronunciation in an exercise. And if I don't have enough time, during the class to listen to each of you pronouncing what am I going to do. I'm going to ask you to go to this play and it's quite easy to use. The first time they, it is going to ask you for permission. La primera vez les pide permiso para usar microphone and camera, but we are just going to need a microphone. So what do you do? You click on this icon Okay, and then you start pronouncing. Empiezan a pronunciar. Okay, for example, tenemos this example. Wanted, needed, played, fixed. And you pronounce all the exercises, all the examples that we have. Then you hit stop, and then you have your recording. In my case, I have 10 seconds of recording. So if you click on here, save and share, you are going to get a link. What are you going to do? Copy this link, and then you go to the platform. Vamos a la plataforma. Ahorita les comparto la plataforma. Then we go to the platform. Section number four. Okay, everybody. I go, I'm going to share the same, okay? I'm going to share the link from the platform as well. We go to section number four and we look for this video, pronunciation of regular verbs. Let me see, is 4.3. You go and look for this video and at the end of the video, you're going to find the discussion forum. Discussion forum, el foro de discusión. So, there you are going to click on add a post. You click on there, add a post. Title. Regular verbs pronunciation okay you're going to paste the link you got and you're going to click on submit mm -hmm. and you see i already have here this link what if i click on this link I'm going to 
be able to listen to your pronunciation. Si le doy clic, puedo escuchar todos sus audios y ustedes los de sus compañeros, right? So, is this activity clear? Está claro lo que vamos a hacer ahorita. Yes, vamos a grabarnos a nosotros mismos. Record saying these ones, estos verbos, these examples, this exercise. Okay? So, how much time you are going to get? Let me give you five minutes in the case that you need more time. I'm going to give you some minutes, like just five extra minutes, okay? So let's do it right now. Okay. Lo voy a poner a trabajar en grupo por si necesitamos ayuda de sus compañeros, okay? Pero todos para bocaru.com. Lo grabamos y luego lo posteamos en el discussion forum, section number four. Uh, exercise 4.3. Okay? Listos. Everybody, let's do it right now. Go ahead, please. Here we go. Five minutes. Five minutes so you can practice doing this exercise. Here we go. Okay, thank you, Walter. Okay, there you go. I'm just missing Iris and Fernando. pronunciación I G T E N G pero en sí no hay Ajá, cabal. bueno ya lo mandé yo ahí ahorita ah ok ok alguien ahorita. me gustaría empezar tal vez Ok, vamos a ver entonces si puedo empezar yo. Bien. Sería desde la IG, ¿verdad? Sí. IG. Ok. Vamos a ver. Ok, vamos a buscar uno. ¿Ya, ya pudier pudieron ingresar? Yo ahorita estoy intentando ingresar. No sé por qué, pero no okay. puedo ingresar. Voy a ver en el teléfono. Ok, vamos a ver. ID. Wanted. Needed. T. Helped. Look it. Wash it. Watch it. Loud. Breached. Este me cuesta. Breached. Bridget, así sería, ¿verdad? Eso, eso lo Bridget. estoy tratando de ver ahorita. Kiss it, kissed, kissed, danced, fixed, it. fixed, 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 voiced, deep, how, 
clean, offer, damage, 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 love, use, follow, enjoy, enjoy. Enjoy. Jesús, María y José, nos ayudan en la... <laughs> con las manos en la mano. Jesús, Mary, and Chris, and Joseph. <laughs> Hello, teacher. No sabía que no estaban I'm not here, I'm not here. Continue. Wealthy, needed, help, look it, watch it, watch it, loud it, bread it, kiss it, dance it, fix it, fixed. Color, clean up, offer up, damage it, love it, yourself, follow well, enjoy, em, enjoy, enjoy, it. Yes. enjoy it. Amaze, 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 casi Amazon. Vamos, Rebeca, faltas tú. Que está enferma, Rebeca. Want needed. Help. Ay, César, ¿desde Help. cuándo te llamas Rebeca? No, es que no, no puede. Pues sí, pero ya tiene que <coughs> practicar. También se edita la teacher. Vale. All right. Practice. Ok. All right. Bueno, démosle nosotros, pues. Wanted. Wanted. Needed. Needed. Helped. Helped. Locked. Locked. What. 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 Loud it, but kiss it, dance it, fixed, kissed, dance. No, no, kiss it. No. Okay, 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 okay. Remember, eh, no pronunciamos la e d al final, no. Kiss la terminación y kissed, kissed, mm -hmm. kissed, so kiss. kissed, danced, kissed. Fixed. danced. Helped, helped, looked, 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 Damage. Damage. Loved. Loved. Used. Used. Use it. Use it. Follow. Follow. Enjoyed. Follow. Enjoyed. Amazed. 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 So now let's go to Bocaru. Vamos a grabarnos ya. Bocaru.com. Y me dejan su URL. Don't worry. Dice sí, que me cuesta grabar en Bocaru. Come on, you can do it, Aleli. I know you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> es que los demás deben de estar burlando, teacher, no. por Dios. Why? They are not even going to listen. I am going to listen to your recording, not your classmates, okay? I know you can entonces, do it. Entonces, ¿cómo hacemos, teacher? Nos salimos de... Nos, vamos, nos salimos de... ¿De dónde, teacher? That's okay. O se pueden quedar ahí, apagan su micrófono y cada quien lo hace. All right, That's okay. all right. Ah, okay. okay. Gracias por corregirnos, teacher. No, don't worry. That's my job. <laughs> Did you finish? All right. Finish. Yes, I am. You did. Okay. How about I your think. your classmates, Kimberly and Marina? Did they finish?
You're, you're not sure. Sí, voy a ver si lo puedo compartir ahora. Ya lo grabé. Great, excellent. Go ahead, please. Yo sí, ya voy a empezar. Ya lo voy a compartir. Very good. Very good. Teacher, pregunta. Great. So? En la sección 4, vamos a pegar el enlace. You go to the platform. Did you leave your recording there? Yes or no? No, Miss. A mí me da problema no. y me dice page not found. Teacher, ¿en qué, Great, en I qué already have some comments in subir? the platform. 4.13. Aleli, did you finish? Jose, uh -huh. Cesar, Kimberly. Did you go to the platform? I did you leave your comment it. in the discussion forum? Lo que sucede es que no, 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 no escuché bien el, el número del ejercicio. Cuatro el puntos. link que se mandó no funciona. A mí me da page okay. not me y no recuerdo número del ejercicio. ¿Cuatro punto cuánto era, Tiche? Cuatro punto tres. Cuatro punto tres. regular verb. It feels different now. ¿Me escuchan diferente? Esto estuvo bueno. Es que estuvo bonito. Sí, ya se escucha normal, teacher. No, it's this one. They are not working anymore. No, my headset. Sí, ya no I feel free right now. Me siento más libre hoy. So, what is cheap and dirty? Check the platform. Really? And I was not able, yo no los escuchaba, you know, I was not able to hear you. So that's why I noticed that I was having some problems with my. Let's see, four point platform in leave, please. I'm going to be checking those audios today after the class. Let me see. Perhaps. 4.3. So you can you can continue posting your audios. So let's go to the platform right now because we need to move on to irregular verbs. Not more. Let me see irregular verbs. We already have this one. These are the ones. Okay, here we go. Let's have one with irregular verbs. Look. Simple past statements with irregular verbs. In this case, we are just going to watch this video. So we can move on to the rules, irregular verbs. Here we go. Very nice uh, video and example. 
Hi everyone, in this class you learn to form positive and negative statements using irregular verbs. Let's get started by listening and practicing these statements in the past using irregular verbs. Simple past statements. Irregular verbs. I did my homework. I didn't do laundry. You got up at noon. You didn't get up at 10 o'clock. He went to the museum. He didn't go to the library. We met our classmates. We didn't meet our teacher. You came home late. You didn't come home early. They had a picnic. They didn't have a party. In English, we have two types of verbs. In our last class, we learned how to use regular verbs and learned the simple rule of adding ed to change those verbs to the past tense. We also have irregular verbs, which are more complicated because there really isn't a particular rule to follow. You will need to learn them and memorize them. To form positive statements in the past using irregular verbs, we will follow the same formula as with forming positive statements with regular verbs. Subject plus verb in the past tense plus complement. On these chart, you can see a few examples. If you notice, the positive statements have the verbs in the past tense. And the negative statements have the verbs in the present tense. For example, the past of the verb do is did, get up, the past is got up, go, the past is went, meet, the past is met, come, the past is came, have, the past is had. Let's analyze the first example. I did my homework. First we add the subject I, then we include the verb in the past tense, did, finally we add a complement, homework. To form negative statements, we will follow this formula, subject plus didn't, the auxiliary didn't, plus verb in the present, plus complement. I didn't do laundry. First, we add the subject I. Then, we add the auxiliary verb to form negative statements in the past. Didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present. Do. Finally, we add the complement. Laundry. Now, it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to make positive and negative statements using these irregular verbs. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Very good. So let me go a little bit back in this video. After you finish. And as you notice, we have some examples of irregular verbs in the past. So what does it mean irregular? They are going to change in the written form and as well in the pronunciation. So in this case, we don't have a rule, you know, as regular verbs, we just need to memorize them. That's it. You just need to learn them by heart. There's no other way. So yesterday I sent you a list with verbs and examples of regular and irregular verbs. So let me bring it up to the class again so we can take a look at some examples and practice, you know, practice the pronunciation, the meanings, and the spelling form as well. Look at this one. Ah, this is the verb. These are the verbs in the past, but in this case, irregular. Why are they called irregular? Because they change in the written form. So this list 
of verse is very useful, you know, because it's going to help you with pronunciation and also with the meaning in Spanish, you know, because sometimes we don't know the meaning in Spanish. So in this case, look at this one, we have infinitive or the base form, le llamamos también la forma base o infinitivo, arise. Then we have the simple past, arose. Then we have the past participle. But look, in this case, in this class, we are just going to practice this one. Dejemos esta parte, pasado participio, es algo que vemos más adelante, ok? Not as of right now. Past participle, lo vemos más adelante. Right now, just try to memorize. Oops, I'm sorry. Try to memorize the infinitive form and the simple past only, right? Simple past only. These two columns. Esas dos columnas para abajo. Infinitive and simple past. So, for example, look at this one. The verb to be. The simple present we have be or am, is or are. In the simple past, we only have two forms, was and where, and so on, right? So regular and irregular verbs. So let's go to the practice. Let's go to the practice with irregular verbs. I have an exercise that we are going to complete using the simple past with irregular verbs. Take a look at this picture. We are going to find out some examples with affirmative and negative sentences. Number one, what's going on with his boy? What is he doing right now? What is he expressing in picture number one? What is he saying? I did my, my homework. Did you identify the verb? What is the verb? Did. Oh, did, did, did. Ah, so what is the infinitive form or the verb in the present? Do, do, do my homework, do on that, did, mm -hmm. do, and did. did, picture number two, you got up, you got up at noon, what is the verb in present and in past? Got up. Get 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 Go. 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 That's okay. Go. Go. The past of this person is when. Went. He went to the bookstore. Very good. How about picture number four? Met. We met our classmates. Met. Meet. 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 Pass. Met. Meet. Met. Picture number five it's came. It's come. Came home late. Come. Come. It's come. Present. Come. Past. Came. Very good. How about the last picture? Had. They had a barbecue. Have. Hmm? Have. 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 Very good. Have. Oh. Did, got up, went, met, came, and had, okay? Verbs in the simple present or the infinitive form. And next to it, we have the example with the simple past. Very good, you were able to identify the verbs. So, what are we going to do right now? Listen, we're going to... But first, let me check the attendance list. Before I forget the attendance list, 
it is very important for me to check it, right? So here we go. Attendance list. Teacher, en el material impreso que nos dieron eh, del, del, del módulo, este, yo he ido contestando, pero en las instrucciones dice que hay que ocupar los verbos pasado y sí. se lo dan en presente. Entonces, yo no sé si es correcta la forma que lo he estado haciendo. Hey, give me your example so I can help you. Don't worry. Um, no, it, um, example, um, one minute. Um, dice... Uh, I did you have, have as a past, have a good summers. Y el siguiente dice, yes, I, ahí me he trabado, no sé. I have is, is past the have, a great. In summer, I have a relaxer. ¿Está bien? Relaxing. Relaxing relaxing day or relaxed I have. relaxed in the past but you are you are previously using the have in the past had i just relaxes okay in this case yes mm -hmm. okay it's it correct is. it is okay thank you thank you okay so say here or present aleli concepcion a uh, present teacher Excellent. Anna Stephanie. Cesar Alexander. Present teacher. Elvis Aníbal. I'm here. Fernando Arturo. Present. Erson Vladimir. Gladys Present teacher. Iris Elena. Here, Miss. Irma Raquel. Present. Jessica Marielos. Josué Neftalí. Present teacher. Kimberly Janet. Present. Okay. Let me see. Maria Lucia. I'm here. Marina de Carmen. Present. Nelson Rolando. Nurian Karina. Pablo Reyes. Present. Rebeca Eunice. Beatriz. Roxana Beatriz. Present. Ray. Sonia Guadalupe. Present. Walter Alexander. Present. Wilson Alejandro. I'm here, dear. Jessica Marilu. I'm here, teacher. And Zaira Jamilet. Present. Very good job. Present. That's okay. So let's continue irregular and regular verbs in English. Take a look at this exercise. We're going to complete, ah, but let me see. Whenever we are making statements, in negative form, remember that we are going to use the auxiliary didn't, didn't, didn't. So if we are using an auxiliary, the verb is not going to change. Okay, I didn't go to the supermarket. Look, didn't go. So the verb is going to remain in its form. 
No podemos cambiarlo porque tenemos un auxilio ahí. Didn't. Go, go. Queda como go. Let's have another example in negative. She didn't play video games today. Third person, third person, negative. It's going to be the same. It is going to remain as play. Why? Because we have an auxiliary in the sentence. El auxiliar did. In este caso, negative. Tell me, Alili. Excuse me, teacher. And the formal um, for uh, I not the I did not is I is B a deal or not a, a verb and complement. Mm -hmm. That's okay. We need the subject. Okay. Auxiliary didn't verb and complement. Okay. Thank you. Very good. Girl. So take a look at this exercise that we have right now. We are going to complete the conversation. Let's complete the conversation. So we can make use of questions, affirmative, negative, regular and irregular verbs right now. This is a very short example, but it's very useful for you to identify. We have conversation number one and conversation number two. Number one, we have A and B. Question, did you have, did you have a good summer? So what is the reply? What is the response in letter B? Who can help me with letter B? Yes. Maybe, I, yes, I did. I had a great summer. I went out with my friends a lot. Okay, one, once again, it is Elena. Yes, I? I did. Yes, I, I did. did. Then yes, we I have did. an affirmative sentence. I? I did. I did. Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Okay, I had great. Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Very good. I had a great summer. How do we finish? I went out. I did. Uh -huh. I? I went out with my friends a lot. Went. Went out without with my friends a lot very good job remember that if i have a question that is using the auxiliary did in my question i need to use the auxiliary in my response or replies did you have a good summer yes i did or no i didn't that's okay very good job what is the pass of have had what is the past of go went number two elvis help me out with number two question question um when you when you uh -huh. when you when you when you uh, I need, no. I don't know. Okay, don't worry. Remember that for the interrogative form, we need to use an auxiliary at the beginning. Indeed. The auxiliary that we're going to use. Did you went? Ah, did. It's my. Did you went did you anywhere. Go. Okay. You went. Did you went? What do you think, class? Did you went anywhere last, last summer? Or do you have any other response? Did you went? Is that a... No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Did no, I didn't. No, but wait, wait, wait. In the question, in la pregunta, did you went? You go. You go. Ah. You go. Wow. The auxiliary is in class. That's okay. He, we Why? use the auxiliary so the verbs stay in the, exactly. in the infinitive form. 
Very good. We already have an auxiliary. And the auxiliary as well is indicating that this is in the past already. So did you go? The verb is not going to change. It's going to remain in the infinitive form. Did you go? Okay, now we have the correct answer. Did you go anywhere last summer? So what is the response? It's a negative one. No, I, I didn't. didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't. No, I didn't. 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 I didn't. Very good. Didn't because it's negative. Or no, I did not. I didn't. I stayed. Stayed. Stayed, stayed. Uh, stayed here. Stayed. stayed. Look, is this regular or irregular? Stayed. Regular. 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 Very good. Regular. I stayed here. Okay, finish the idea, please. I. I. Stayed. What is the part of get? Got. I got. Very good. A part I got. Job. So I. Made. Make it. Make it. Make it. Oh, make, make it. it. What do you think, class? Make I make it. it. So make, make it. Are you sure? Make it. Not. This is an irregular verb. So it's not make it. It doesn't exist. Made. It made. That's it. You say I made. I made some extra money. So make it, it doesn't exist. This is an irregular verb. That's why we're going to change the, uh, the way that we spell in regular. We made some extra money. Mm -hmm. Made. That's okay. Very good. So swear. Eh, teacher, tengo una pregunta. Ese made es igual a como diga made in China. Made it. Hecho en China. Yes, made in China. Yes. Hecho yes. en español. Un ejemplo. Exactly. We have okay. seen this expression before. It's the same one. Hecho en or made in El Salvador as well. Made. Mm -hmm. So the verb is in past. Made. In El Salvador. Hecho en made. Mm -hmm. It's the verb in past. Great job. Yes, Elvis. Oh, in participio. Um, I don't see any way the verb can. Ah, okay. El pasado de can. The past of can. Yes. Okay. Let me give you some example. So, but do you have any idea? What is this? The past of can. Any idea, class? Good. The way that we express this verb in the past. No idea? Cool. Mm -hmm. Exactly. This is the past. Miren, it's an irregular one. Good. Mm -hmm. So, can you give me an example using the verb can in the past? Oh, vamos, una oración en presente y lo pasamos a a simple past. I I can study English. I can do it. I can study English from home. Puedo estudiar inglés desde casa. Now, how do we make this sentence in the past? I could put attend English classes in a classroom. Eso estamos hablando del pasado. Antes, before the pandemic, I could attend English classes in a classroom, right? So now it's in past. The idea is in past, not in present anymore. Yes, Elvis. Perdón, este... 
como can es un verbo modal, entonces eh, cuando sí, siempre va acompañado de otro verbo y, uh -huh. y en el caso de que co eh, que ya va eh, conjugado el pasado, el otro verbo también se conjuga o se queda en su forma base. Como ya es un auxiliar, lo mismo con el did. Si tenemos un auxiliar, no cambia el verbo. Por ejemplo, si, si yo digo, eh, yo pude llegar. Uh -huh. eh, I could. Eh, llegar se pone en su forma yes. base o si, sin ninguna modificación. The same, same. It's going to stay the same, you know? Study, attend. Está en el infinitive form. Ok, thank you. Porque ya es un auxiliar. Convierte esto en un verbo auxiliar. Auxiliary verb. Lo mismo en el interrogativo. Tengo un auxiliar, no puedo cambiar el verbo. Lo mismo con modal verbs o verbos auxiliares. Teacher. Please, tell me. Oh, perdón, no, no levanté la mano. O sea que ese en pasado, en pasado negativo sería I did. I didn't cook. No pude. El mismo ejemplo, the same example. Or I didn't ¿Sí? cook. Sí, el negativo sería así. Quedaría así. I didn't cook en el primero. I didn't cook. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't No sería I couldn't. I could sí, cook. Bueno. Ajá, y la segunda oración, la forma negativa, pregunta él. La misma, la, la, que, la última. I sería, sería en negativo en, en, en I pasado. Couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't attend. I couldn't attend. I couldn't attend. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, George is going to change. Yo creo que también estaba preguntando él por el didn't. Ajá, no es que él está el... preguntando si con el who se podía mm -hmm. utilizar no. el did y... Ajá. El didn't, ok. No, no, no se puede porque, decir. Porque ya serían dos auxiliares. Porque está funcionando como un auxiliar, ¿verdad? Ok. Exactly. We cannot have, no podemos tener dos auxiliares juntos tampoco. So, I didn't... ¿Cómo lo pondrían ustedes? I didn't couldn't. Like ok. Miren cómo se ve. I didn't. No, no, teacher, sin, okay. sin, sin negar, eso sería I didn't call. Ajá, uh -huh. está in English from home. Oh. Pero sería Ahí en presente, se de verdad. Estamos negando dos veces. No, can, es can, solamente sin negarlo. I didn't O sea, can. la negación solo sería didn't. Ajá, uh -huh. I didn't can. Correctly study. this sentence. Oh, how do you read that in English? ¿Cómo le dan esa expresión en español? I didn't can. No pude. No pude que. No, no pude existe. estudiar inglés desde casa. No existe porque el didn't es la forma negativa de empatía. Exactly. El didn't can, el didn't el didn't can es el no puedo. Exactly. No, existe. no, eso es I can't. No existe. Eso es I can't. Okay. Entonces ya no es necesario ocupar el didn't. No, no, no. 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 Porque el broma. can ya está funcionando en sí como verbo auxiliar, ¿verdad, Miss? Entonces, Buena discusión, teacher. No, but that's me that. Me encanta. Like it, you know. Dos Le dimos fuego a Roma. Exactly, right? El dictionary, el English book tomó fuego. Like this, no, no, no. <laughs> Muy bien, que se pregunten y que tengan esas dudas, aclarémoslas. That's why we have this class. So, let me repeat. We cannot have two verbs together. No, two auxiliary verbs. Auxiliary verbs together. together. In this case, this is an exception. El verbo can, I know. Yo sé que es un verbo, right? Pero es un verbo auxiliar. It's an auxiliary verb. Hay verbos que okay, se convierten okay. en auxiliar. Ok. Right. Solo en verbo base. Auxiliary verb. That's why. Este verbo nos cambia. Esa es la estructura. Okay. Es auxiliar. Porque es auxiliar. Tenemos otro, otro tipo de verbos auxiliares. Muchos verbos auxiliares. But in this case, eh, I motivate you to go 
practica lo que tienes. Veamos esto, ¿ok? En practice, practice, practice. No se quedan con los ejercicios de la plataforma. No. Ok, ya los completé. Y ya, me quedo ahí. No, go and practice, you know. You can look for some extra information as well. And mostly with this type of um, classes, you know, when we need to memorize a lot of information. So here we go. Try to practice pronunciation and spelling as well. Okay. Spelling as well. So questions about that one. Questions about the exercise. Yes, no? No. Everything is clear. Bien. So, if you see and if you go to the platform, there we have some exercises. Remember that we need to finish with section number four uh, this coming Thursday, right? We are going to cover all the topics from this section. Um, on Thursday's class, we're going to finish with that section. Look. So here you can practice making questions, giving affirmative and negative responses as well. So you have like similar exercises, short conversation, right? So be careful when you are giving uh, your reply because most of the time, you can confuse a regular with an irregular verb. So what is the correct choice? Si no me sé el verbo, si es regular o irregular, I easily go and I look it up, you know? Go and look for the verb and try to complete, in this case, the exercise. So questions about the irregular verbs in English. Preguntas, chicos, questions about this one. Well, we are going to have some extra exercises tomorrow, okay? So don't worry. This is not the end of this topic. We need to continue practicing. Section number four and section five, they have the same topic, the past, simple past. So, questions. This is your time. Questions. Please. Please, tell me. Tengo así, por si casualidad nos puede dar un tip como para... Eh, identificar con un poquito de, de facilidad eh, los verbos regulares y los verbos irregulares. Eh, un tip, no, créanme que el, es que esto es más que todo by memory. No hay otra forma de identificarlo, si es. Es por memoria. Para los regulares. Es un poco más fácil. Tenemos reglas de pronunciación y de escritura, pero los irregulares no hay otra forma. There's no way. ¿okay? Y ese es el inglés, ese es un idioma, ¿ok? Vocabulario de verbo. Because we need to use verbs to express ourselves. ¿No? Yes, I, I don't have any other clue. Más que todo, ayúdense con la guía que les envié. ¿okay? Hay muchas más listas. Pero básense a practicar esos verbos. Y si tengo dudas, utilicen sus herramientas. Ok, go, Google it. Look it up in a dictionary. Ok. Or you can find out some extra exercises. Um, I don't know, in books or any other places. Si necesitan más información, más listas de verbos, ejercicios, con gusto se los doy. Ok, solo digan, teacher, necesitamos más práctica de este tema. Okay. Si no, we are going to stop the class here and we are going to continue practicing irregular verbs tomorrow. Okay. okay. Voy a buscar ahorita. Me tomo el tiempo ahorita, Fernando, para buscar alguna página solo de verbos irregulares. All right. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you, Thank you so Love much. You Thanks a lot. I really hope you to have a great night. And please keep Good on night, you tomorrow. Practice your English. Practice irregular and regular. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
tomorrow class. Right. It was a pleasure. See you. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Nine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.